Because actually bring you up. Oh. Yes, please. Let's oh. talk about Today it. Is the day. I've been talking about this for months. So my fourth annual LA Freshman class cover is out. It drops today. I'm about to post it on Instagram. Once I leave from here, uh, who's on the list this year? X4, uh, Yellow Hill, Ash Bash the Rapper, Trey 23, Shady Blue, Leaky Two Times, Shy Belligerent, Lil Veda, Pruitt, Bravo the Back Chaser, and Mark Lux. So these are your picks for the, the freshman list, basically, but for LA? Yes, strictly LA because you know Double XL didn't put any. Uh, we talked about mm. any LA rappers on the cover again for like the third year in a row. Okay, so I felt like uh, a few years ago I decided that we should just have our own freshman. Class. It costs a bag to get on the cover, does it? No, sometimes they pick people. you. Either got to be you viral go as fuck. Play music. You either got to be viral as fuck mm. or. I feel like you got to be just sucking industry dick. Yeah, in that's general. what I'm about to like say. You got to be doing your yeah, label. You got to be viral. But do you think any LA rappers deserve to be on it this year? Because uh, I'm looking at this list and I only know X4 and you know Bravo I mean? the Back like Chaser. Uh, yeah. This year I would have put G per, for the Double XL freshman cover. If I worked there, if I was a musical editor there, I would put G Perico or Kayla for real, for real. Had them for real, for real, deserve to come. Shout out to them. Those are the homies. But yeah. Bravo. realistically, right yeah. In terms of like Kayla? impact, yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like, yeah, he's, he's got a name in LA and stuff, but I'm not, in terms of double XL. the Rock Nation. If, right now, if, yeah, that's four, the problem. It would, five Detroit it would look niggas. so industried out if he was on the cover. And I say it with all the love in my heart. I don't know how he's going to take it. But like, if he was on the cover, shout out X4. Yeah. If he was on the cover, we would have to be dealing with the whole rest of the country talking about, oh, look how they fucking put somebody on the cover from LA who didn't belong on the list. He, he's still, real, real, he's, he's got plenty growth to do to be big he enough to be in that position. He has classic mixtapes, two for real one, two for real two. But you are a Los Angeles hip hop propagandist. That is my term that I'm going to use. I'm glad that you and I, you are a a Los Angeles nationalist because <laughs> you you care about the strength of the LA rap community right. to such an extent, and I admire it. Yeah. But as a person who doesn't really have a a a, a dog in the fight of like who's going to be what what city is going to come out on top, uh, I'm not really seeing it. But I I do think, you know. There's a lot of talent coming out of L.A., but to, to rise to that level, I mean, it's But they be having tricky. bullshit people on, on oh, that, that cover. Ain't that the truth, yeah. So why not give the home of gangster rap, everybody's making gangster rap, why not give the home of gangster rap a slot on the cover? There are, there are, L.A.'s gangster rap is dated right now. And they, 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 they can't be sound. giving a slot just to, like, keep it, you know, diverse based mm -hmm. on, like, all the different Regional. cities. They got to base it on what city is cracking. If there's three, four artists from New York who are mm -hmm. going crazy, I want to see three or four New York artists on they there. Don't, they don't skip any other major market. They make sure they get uh, some New York artists. They make sure they have some people from down south. But then they get to they make sure they have some Midwest rappers. But then when they get to us, it's like skip. People don't want to so come out there and get their jewelry that taken. They're skipping LA I think, artists. I think it's intentional. I think it, there is a bias against West Coast rappers. They don't have nobody from the, the West Coast on there. There's definitely a but pro what's East Coast, Coast bias. Hold I would on. say. That's Hold crazy. on. What state you travel? Have I traveled to recently? Do you travel like? The often? last trip I went to was either Miami or Houston. Did you hear any LA rappers when you was out there? No. We ain't pushing. I don't hear LA rappers to... out here. What are you talking about? What I'm saying is, you <laughs> but why do you think more... that is though? Uh, I place blame on two people. I, obviously, with the report card, place blame on the rappers needing to step up their shit. But I place blame on the DJs and program directors for not giving them a chance because not everything is trash. Not everybody gets an F. Okay, you need a chance when you got the internet. It's like if you... everyone's just doing their shit. I feel like the reason that LA don't really have their foot on people's neck is because the sound is dated. All right, let, let me read off the artists who are on this this freshman class cover this year, which okay. which I agree. Some trash on it. Definitely the least relevant that this list has been in years. I actually am looking at this cover right now, feeling like maybe I never saw this before mm -hmm. and just saw like the list. I think Central but, C is on there. Yeah, Central C, Boston Richie, Sleazy World Go, Lola Brooke, Glorilla, Friday, La Tyler, Rob 49. DC of the Dawn, Finesse Two Times, Too Rare, and Tia Corin, Corrine. There's definitely people on this list who I think don't really fucking belong in this list. And who? there's people. Who? Uh, Tia Corrine. I mean, realistically, how much noise is Sleazy World Go making at Too this rare. point? We interviewed him maybe like a year ago. Mm -hmm. Too Rare. It's kind of hard for me to judge exactly like where his career is at. Not on the list, though. Shout uh, out DC of the Dawn. I've been friends with DC of the Dawn a long ass time. From now? 
Freshman cover? I'm sorry, bro. I'm not really seeing it. I can it. see Kaylin yeah. on there is all I'm if, saying. If Uzi got the rock from Too Rare, he deserved because he's like a, a staple. Like, he influenced a whole All, all, of, all of these people as hit. well you are touring. Saying? Like, I know, like, a lot of the ones that you name are touring, going to city to city, okay. on big tours, G. doing their own little this tours. Year, shot tour. But you know let's be I mean? real. The problem with this list now is that really big artists don't even care about doing it because Ice Spice isn't on this list because she turned, it's, it, down, right? she turned it down and she don't want to fucking do it and she don't need to do it. And it would actually make her look lower status wise to be on a cover with a bunch of artists that she's like a hundred times bigger than, you know? You know so what I like about it though, Adam, what I do have always loved about the double XL freshman cover is the um association it comes with. Like we talk about Kodak and Twenty One Savage. LeBron had to play in the, the rookie game. Class. That was ironically, a lot the of people cover. consider that like the death of the double XL cover. That is the one that stands out to everybody as the classic What's one. What's that, 2016? 2016, 2017, or whatever. Like, yeah, that was... Kodak, you said, but, but also, Kodak in 21, that was 16. Hip-hop was more popular right then at that moment than it has been since. Like, hip-hop's popularity has been on a slow, gradual decline. Mm -hmm. But think about that cover. Like, you had Kodak in 21, and like, all, Yachty, all these people that were blowing the fuck up. You had so many... New and personalities, like, and that was like before Lil Pump being on the cover. That was before like all the SoundCloud artists kind of even like really like got to the point where that they was put them Vivo on that days, V Loan days, no Vivo, Vivo Cardi days. B? It's also V Loan days. Yeah, it was. a lot of V Loan in those. Days. Yeah, it was. Those it was because was Uzi on there? Uh, yeah, that was his year too. Yeah, Uzi, Cardi, and Gunna and. Pablo Juan, remember they were like the face of Elon. But if we second. get to the point where we have that much interest in new hip hop at some point in the near future, we need to like make a mental note right now to appreciate it while it's happening because it felt like during that we just had to deal with tons of people complaining about all these new artists and shit. Yeah. And it's like in reality, if you like rap music, even if that shit didn't 100% appeal to you, you should have been excited about it because ever since that fucking 2016, 2017 cover, what do we have? Basically just like a gulf of drill rappers and yeah. just op rappers. and we people. took it for granted, bro. Yeah, totally. We took it for granted. But there but was a lot of exciting shit. We also took the there. LA There's wave no around that money. same time for granted. We took Greedo, Shoreline Mafia, yep. Draco, those type of artists. That whole wave don't get the respect but they deserve either. Double XL trash, how many Detroit niggas was on there? None. Like, they 42 biased. Doug ever make it on? Like... But I, I agree, yeah. That that was on that cover that we just were looking at. I think, I mean, last, I think last year, Forty Two Doug was on there. Come on, man! You 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 don't see no baby monies yeah. and V's and all them. Where's, where where yeah, they at? V's, V's Come on, I feel like he really might have turned should've it down this year, right? Been, uh, he should have been. No, nah, but baby face right was on last year, right? I'm saying though, yeah, but right, Detroit yeah. has grown but since these, then. It's other it's artists project. that wasn't as but big. But Babyface Ray is like the king of Detroit. Like if anybody's gonna be on that shit, it should probably be him, right? Vezo's the king of Detroit. I feel like they. Was Vezo on his music like that? I, I ended up. Uh, shout out to Hip Hop Lab. Because blog, look, that music. new sound like Vez kind of started a certain sound out there. I and feel like they would want to beat the shit out of you for saying that. Who? Because they've been doing it for so long before V's came out. No, Vezo. I Vezo. Oh, Vezo. no, okay. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, You're right, no, though, no, about no. Vezo, for sure. Because he like one of the originators, too, because he was cracking before he went to the feds. I'm just going off of like yeah, yeah. the whole Detroit. Like, PZ payroll, is like yeah, one of the Yeah, payroll. Because so, so many of those dudes, the Babyface Rays and the, and the Vezos and shit, they were in fucking school together and shit. They were like yeah. in high school together yeah. before shit started cracking yeah. for them. Oh, yeah, I have one question about this, though. Yeah, what's that? What counts as LA? Santa Ana count? Is that LA County? No, no. right? No. You no, know, because like Doja All... Cat is an LA rapper because she's from Tarzana, and I guess Tarzana that's is LA within County. LA County limits. That's so for sure. Yes. So Long Beach definitely Santa Ana's counts. Yeah, Orange Long County. Beach, Shady Blue, who signed the Interscope, she's from Long Beach. That's um, the end of LA. Long what if you're from Watts? Supreme Grams is what, from Long Beach. What, what about Watts and Compton? Grams. Watson Compton, I love Watson Compton artists. They some of my, my favorite storytellers. But they're not eligible? They be yeah, they are. That's oh, LA County. County. Yeah. He's from Watts. Shy Belligerent is from Watts. Okay. Yeah. See, he, I got to tap in with a lot more of these artists. Yeah. Who is from Watts, Let me too. take a picture of this. So let me take a picture of this. Well, I don't want to forget. I be doing my nightly Googles, just looking at random new artists and yeah. shit. And uh, I don't want to be leaving LA out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say this about the X4 interview is that it is like, I don't think I've ever interviewed like a brand new artist that people are just finding out about for the first time that has like almost 200,000 views in the first 24 hours. That just really stands out to me as something special. So what he chooses to do with the ball is up to him. But the ball is in his court. He just signed with Interscope Records. But is that true? Because somebody just hit me up telling me that he actually signed with them. 
No, I, I, I know. Feel like he the, might... I know the A and R who signed him to Interscope. Who? Marcus. Marcus oh, okay. said Interscope Records signed him. He was the guy in the video. Oh, okay. One of my tagged him. He was like, hey, "Don't tag me." So I untagged him. But yeah, I think it's a management company actually that told me that they signed him. I thought he had signed with Wack. That a lot was of a, people that did. was a headline that he had signed with Wack. Yes or no? No, he just hung out with well, him backstage at the show or some shit. Yeah, and then the 600 thing, and uh-huh. the people are telling me he signed with Deshaun Jackson and shit. Okay, so, I mean... You got insider he... info? What's, what's your perspective on this? Man, that little nigga doing what he want to do. He's got a lot of people rooting for him, and they in his and corner, but he's, he He's is, with Adrian, he a.k.a. Even, Swish, Adrian. when yeah, he Swish. came in this time. Yep. Yeah, Swish, Swish. That's Swish. what I'm like. He Swish gonna Swish. put him to work. Swish was my first manager, so I can't, I yeah. can't, I can't put nothing against... You know, Swish was with me and Kid Inc. for all those years. He come from the alumni, so... Right. That's like my big brother, like, whatever. But, yeah, I seen him with Swish, so I'm like, okay, hey, We, we got to protect X4 at all costs, though, because to me, he's like the, the one who stands out to me right now is having the most star power to really be able to be something huge. And people are going to say, oh, you're only saying that because he's a gangbanger and he got crazy ass face tattoos. He got a rolling 40s mustache. Okay, sure. All that stuff plays into it, but he he's got great. He, he got he's the it fact. Good, he got yeah. his own lingo. I'm he got his about own trophies. No, well, well, that, ben, that Ben lingo. No, nah, what's but, the other shit? He thirsty Crips. Y'all been saying that? No, that Ben lingo, but you know, he, he could brand he's it himself. Been, he's been out for a long time. Twisting the lingo in his favor. Know. Yeah, the tiny he's little twisting freestyles the lingo, used to yeah. do with Loda Great. And he shows Draco his respect, so he 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 can use some of the Draco lingo because he's always talking about joints and trophies like and all that shit. But he shows his respect to not just Draco, but also doing music with Ralphie and Rembo and all that kind of shit. So that that to me, you know, I like his loose leaf record. He just has to step up his bars and find better production. I don't like FB is his uh, is his boy. That's a producer he likes to work with. That's who he feels comfortable working with. But I would like to hear him work with some like more top notch. I feel this. like the mix needs to be better. Like his vo- his vocals are a little bit buried in the track. Like they need to be a little they're bit louder. Cloud rappers, yeah. They were the he West Coast SoundCloud yeah, rappers. Like SoundCloud they're rapper. SoundCloud rappers. A lot of that music doesn't even sound mastered to me. I might be wrong, but it definitely. You're not wrong. He just, yeah. He just put it out. <laughs> you're not he, wrong. he probably don't even like when you're good at rapping. You're not good at mixing. That's for everybody else's ear, and, and that's it, what I told him. It's not bad to have a manager. Yeah, around. it sounds good to me in the car, and then I play it off my phone, and it's like very noticeable. How much worse it sounds, yeah. But you got to think, uh, a lot of Greedo's earlier music, to me, was oh. it, wasn't mixed Ooh. perfectly or nothing like Mafia that. Mafia Business, is it? one yeah. of his best songs. You try to listen to it on laptop speakers, it Great. barely even sounds like there's anything playing. Uh, the, fucking, uh, uh, the mix is so bad. Yeah. But then you hear it like, but it's still somehow just like one of the best songs, even yeah. without like the worst audio quality. But don't, that only works for certain people. You guys get your shit. But that's no, that, that certain that, people can get away the, with it. It's a part of the grind. That was he probably making this shit in backyards and little studios and all that. And everybody's not now. He's stepping it up. He' about to be with new engineers, real engineers that's mm-hmm. gonna have everything together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's yeah. a difference between recording yeah. at these little studios and going to shit. record plants and whatever the. Yeah, you know I mean three one zero baby. I don't want to drop Soak all City. the fucking loads to all the studios, but you know. Mm-hmm. 310 Baby recorded Silk City off his phone, and that's a billboard. The vocals record. he did on his phone? He did that on his phone. What the his fuck? Bedroom. That is insane. And that's like number 37 on the billboard charts. He didn't like re-record that. it. Maybe for yeah. the remix. Really? What the fuck? That's insane. Mm-hmm. 